Hey there guys, so so many things 2000 here. Um, <clears throat> in this video, I'm just going to be showing you guys how to clean your hamster ball. Because um, I needed to clean Samson's, which is the bigger hamster, so it's going to be a bigger ball, but this supplies with any sized hamster ball. Um, you just might have to like use more soap, depending on the size of it. If it's a little ball, then about two squirts. If it's a medium sized ball, four squirts. And then six squirts if it's like a big ball. So, it's really not that much. Um, so yeah, um, sorry, I'm kind of in a bad mood. But, um, so let me turn your attention over to the water and what I'm going to be uh, doing. So first, let me take my hamster top off the hamster ball. Hold on a minute. Sorry. Sorry about that. Okay, just gonna turn into the water now. Sorry. All right. So here's my ball. It's my side of the sink, but here's my ball, and this is the top. <clears throat> so first thing you want to do is, you can choose to take this sticker off, but I always leave them on, but you don't have to. First, you just want to take your ball, and you just want to submerge it in water. And the really only thing that you need for the materials that you need is like, um, if you don't have a sink stopper, you're going to need two washcloths, if you want to use a washcloth to wash it instead of your hand. Um, so yeah. Let me get started on showing you how you're going to do this. So submerge it in water both ways. Then what you're going to want to do is you're just going to scoop up some water. Now bear in mind these have holes in them so you just want to scoop it up and then squirt soap in there really quickly. So one, two, three, four. Okay. You don't need four squirts. I just like to do four squirts. Sorry. Okay, now it's soapy. Okay, once you've done this, you either want to take your washcloth or you can use your hand. And you just want to kind of wash around in there and make it as nice and clean as possible. And you also want to submerge the top in water too. Okay. Sorry, I'm used to having two hands doing this. You just want to really wash it. Just dump the water out. And then just, once you've done that, wash the outside of the ball also too. So let's do that now. You don't really need soap for this, but I'm going to choose to use some. Well, be all right. I just want to kind of wash to the outside of the ball too, and do the same thing with the top. The top doesn't really need washing because it's the top, but just kind of get some soap in there too. Then, once you've done this, and you've gotten it all nice and clean, what you're going to want to do is, is you're going to want to take the washcloth out and let the water start draining. Whoa, what the heck was that? Okay, well, now once you've done that, this was the washcloth holding it. You're going to take it, you're going to run some warm water, it doesn't have to be steaming hot, but you want to run some warm water, and you're going to just rinse it off, really nice and well, making sure you're getting all the soap out, just so that your hamster doesn't get off, 
know, doesn't, you know, and he'll soak. Get all that nasty gunk out of there and soak. And you should be good. Okay. Now you want to do the same thing with the top. Take that off and rinse the outside of the ball off. That's the way I'm doing it. Like that. Now that you've done this, turn the water off. Okay. And um, you want to dry it. So you get a towel or like a cloth or whatever, and you just dry that off. You dry that off. And if it's a big ball, it should be easy for you to. It should be fairly easy for you to get your hand in there. And uh, if not, just try your best to dry it. And then with the small ball, that's kind of hard to dry, but it's possible. It just takes some time. So, uh, yeah, I thank you guys for watching. And if you have any requests, leave them in the comments below or send me a PN. And I'll be happy to uh, do those videos for you. Uh, let me turn back around here. Um, so thank you guys for watching, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys next time on the channel. Um, also, um, comment on how the video was. So thank you guys for watching, I'll catch you guys next time on the channel. Thanks.